You know what, and speaking of eating out, we all know the day before Thanksgiving, that's one of the most popular days to eat out before you feast and cook at home coming up. We're going to show you a place where you can have some local fish here in Coronado that's coming up on Fox 5. All right, now we want to get you over to Heather Lake in beautiful Coronado. All right, a historic building on the island is revamped and it's open for business. Can't wait to hear about it, Heather. Hey, good morning to both of you. So I'm wondering if you have plans for the week. Do you make sure that your family goes out to dinner before the big feast so then you, know, you don't have to do any of the cooking before Thanksgiving? So what we're doing is showing you a place where you can enjoy something very different from your normal Thanksgiving feast and it's all in this very historic building that got revamped. This place has been open since 1887 but it looked very different back then. So Steve Ewing, you're the guy who's running the place now at the Blue Water Boathouse. We can see some of the historic pictures behind us. Mm -hmm. You kind of made this place uh, more of a, well, we'll say, we'll say fish fair, right? Well, yeah, we tried to keep kind of, kind of the, the old fishing boathouse feel, yet kind of make it a little bit more contemporary. So you can see we, we've been maintained all this kind of, uh, uh, you know, all the fishing lures and all the ropes around the restaurant, as you'll see as we walk through. Um, but yet we've sort of uh, made it a little bit more vibrant than, than the old restaurant. It's still very nautical. Let's walk and talk and take a look at the place. now. Besides what you're serving up, I want to know a little history because obviously it didn't always look like this. <laughs> uh, correct. Well, the, the building was originally opened in 1887 and was built before the Hotel Del Coronado. And it was actually made as a prototype for the design of the Del, made by the same builders. Mm -hmm. And so they actually modeled the, the hotel after this particular it's building. It's like a mini Del. So we have some pictures back in the studio too so people can see the difference of what it looked like then. And then as it gets lighter, we'll be able to show you what it looks like now. But really, it's just got a good paint job. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And this is really very similar to the way it looked all the way back in 1887 in terms of the exterior. It was a little bit farther out into the harbor and it, right in 1967 before they turned it into a restaurant, they brought it closer to the to the shoreline. And so they had a long gangway that they shortened and so now it's kind of right up on the street. Cool. Yeah. Alright, we're going to walk and talk. Uh, we got to get to the food part and show what this chef is making because we didn't get Albert up too early, did we Albert? You okay? Yeah, he's fine. His eyes are still closed. Listen, he's making some swordfish, so this is what we're going to do for you. Is that hot? No, I can do that. I'll bring it over here. Look at the shrimp. Okay, so, big shrimpy shrimp. Swordfish, nothing like Thanksgiving. So this will give you a little bit of a variety in case the turkey's too much for you this week and you ain't gonna have leftovers. You can come get some fish here. We're going to tell you where the fish comes from coming up in our next hour. Coronado this morning. Heather Lake. She's checking out an old building that's got a new look. Well, we are waking up with one gorgeous view this morning here from Coronado. Take a look. And this is also comes right along with your meal at the Blue Water Boathouse. That's the place that we're talking about. Got a little bit of a facelift, breaking up the birds as well this morning and a couple of boaters, I'm sure. Um, we want to tell you about this restaurant that uh, has a lot of history to it and is a place where you could definitely check out sometime this week, maybe before your Thanksgiving meal. So Steve Ewing, you're the guy who runs the show around here. And what's really neat is not only does this place have a lot of history, but we've been talking about how you know a lot of people they want they want to do all the cooking on Thursday Absolutely. don't do it this week come enjoy a local meal this place has something very different than your Thanksgiving food um, but let's talk about the history 1886 is when this building was around uh, it's kind of got the same outside but something a little bit different on the inside exactly well it's been around 1887 actually sorry to correct you oh, sorry. Um, that's okay um, actually, it was in the old name of the restaurant. It, uh, it was the original home to Scripps Institute of Oceanography, actually, back in like 1903, I believe it was. It was the original bo uh, boathouse, actually, for the Hotel Dell. A um, number of different things until 1969, when it was its first restaurant. So it's been a restaurant since 1969. That's when the Chart House, uh, at, then, at that point, a local company moved in and operated this, as well as other facilities around town. Um, in 2002, Chart House was bought out, and they decided to sell this restaurant. And the general manager of the chart house at that point in time opened up his own restaurant at that at, at, as Coronado Boathouse, 1887. So he, he operated it that way for about 10 years, changed the name a couple years ago, and then this year he decided to retire, and we were fortunate enough to, to come in here. Yeah, it's really neat to go to a place that has so much history.
history and such a beautiful view. But we got to talk about the food because you guys are doing all local fish and you have some of your own boats too. Exactly. We serve about 90% of our menu is sustainable seafood. Uh, we, we try to focus on as much local products as we can. Uh, we buy from local fishermen. We actually have our own sword fishing boat called the Pilakia that will go out and harpoon swordfish specifically for our restaurants. Um, they'll, they'll catch those fish anywhere from the Mexican border all the way on up to Catalina Island. Uh, it's, it's, it's an amazing boat and, and the quality of the fish that they get on that, uh, to give you an idea, harpoon swordfish represents about 1% of the commercial fleet. And it's kind of akin to the Kobe beef of the fishing industry. Ah, uh -huh, you're making sense to us this morning. Hey, the men that hear beef, they're like, wait, what? So their ears perked up. Uh, you know, I also hear besides the good food that there's a lot of stories. And uh, we got all the way up to the very tip top to check out the view, which you can definitely see anytime here in Coronado. It's such a beautiful time of year to enjoy this place. But I also understand that there's some sort of ghost possibly with this old building. <laughs> there's there's a number of stories involving that. But yeah, the, the kind of the story is that there's the ghost that occupies this building. She was a younger woman who people have actually seen in a wedding dress. Ah. And um, kind of rumor has it she had a broken heart. And ah. and uh, and so this is where she resides. I've had employees of the past restaurant that, that work for us now that have seen her. Um, we have it. We have it. Exactly. Oh, this is really, really cool. You know, all the stories we can get you from you, Stephen. We can sit here and talk all morning. But what we're gonna do is send you to our website because if you want to enjoy a meal here, you can find out more information about the Blue Water Boathouse. Just go to foxlifesandiego.com. All you need to do is click on that scene on tab. For now, I'm gonna send it back to you guys in the studio. Just gotta say that that background is just gorgeous behind uh, Heather.